Hi there. The Hornby 7229 Analog Controller. It's the cheapest in their range, but nevertheless it should still do the job. It has a control knob on the front and a slide switch at the side. As I understand, as I haven't actually got one, the slide switch will only move when the controller is off. Now, some people complain about this, but I can't understand why. It's a safety feature, which to me is, well, seems like a good idea. On the back of the gizmo, we have an input here for a 19 volt, uh, 19 volt, half amp input with the positive uh, in the center and the negative around the outside. We have a high low switch so that if it's connected onto low it shouldn't be able to shoot the engine away. Suitable for small children so that they can't just mess it up. And here we have an uncontrolled output which is supposed to be 14 volts at DC with nice little clips that will clip it on. So it seems a nice little gizmo. Unfortunately one's gone faulty and we want to look at it to try and find out what's gone wrong with it. So if we look at the circuit board on the inside then on this one we can see that this chip here seems to have overheated this heat round it so it could well be that chip that's got and that all that that transistor does is to control the two outputs so these are the two outputs and they're controlled by this chip why i'm not too sure but anyway that's what that does and it looks like it's overheated which is surprising because it has this resistor which is 33 ohms which would limit the output current I would have thought to 500 well less than 500 milliamps if that's sort of 14 volts so if we want to analyze it and try and find out where the fault is then what we can do is I use a black and white picture to start with and try and sort out what's going on. But looking at that is quite confusing. Well, very confusing, I suppose. So I've done a simpler version here. So this is essentially what's going on. It's just a copy of the circuit diagram, but uh, is hopefully simpler we know where the tracks are going so if we want to try and sort out what's gone wrong if we start at the input here we have a 0 volts and 19 volts so with it plugged in and power on we should be able to measure across here with a voltmeter set on say 20 volts 19 volts across here might actually be more than 19 volts uh, so we might need to go up a range above the 20 volts as if it's not doing anything or driving any uh, components. It might actually be more than 19 volts, it might be up at 24 or something like that. And if we put a load on, then it might go down to the 19 or it might be at the 19 to start with. I've no idea. Anyway, if we put a voltmeter across there, we should get the nine, something like 19 volts. If we take anywhere else on the red, so down here to the changeover switch, we should still have a reasonable voltage all the way along here. Along, This is just a link so that the note volts can get down here. So that just goes over and it comes along to the end. Here again, we should have the... 19 volts we won't at this side of this resistor we should only get 0.7 volts at that side but this side should be the full voltage all the way along to this output capacitor which assumes something like 2200 microfarads we should get the positive there as well there is a capacitor that isn't connected and then we could come around to the output so the output should always be at the 19-ish volts. So between there 
and the naught volts in here should give us the input voltage that we get across here or a little bit less because of the resistor and the diode. This resistor I suspect is there as a simple fuse just in case too much current flows that might blow. That is a high power resistor so could be a problem. If we find that the positive is all right round to here then we could try the negative as well. So on this point here, try all the points that the negative goes to. So that's out to here. This is the LED. Uh, it could come round to here, which is a protection diode, I think, for the output. And that should also be no volts. This won't be no volts if this transistor's actually not working correctly. So we could try positive to naught volts down to the middle of here, being careful not to touch either side, to check from positive on there, negative on here, that we get naught volts right down to this pin here, which should have naught volts on it, round here, round, round, even down to the chip, that we get naught volts. This component here then is a voltage regulator, it changes the whatever voltage we've got in 19, say, down to 6 volts. So if we put our probe on the naught volts and on the 6 volts here, we sh should find we get 6 volts on our meter. We can follow that round down to the centre pin at the bottom of the chip. That should be 6 volts. And we can follow it round to this end of this resistor here, which is on the high low switch and the end of this resistor should also be at 6 volts. If we found that the 6 volts is okay, the naught volts is okay and the positive is okay then we sort of got problems. We can put the meter across from the naught volts onto the center of the variable resistor and check if we turn the variable resistor that we get a voltage change on here uh, and then that will go through this and in somewhere onto this chip. This chip's an op-amp chip and I'll look at that later. But for now that should give a very simple testing to see if we can find anywhere that we have problems. We may be able to put the voltmeter on here and naught volts and here and change the variable resistor and we should be able to see a change in voltage on the output here which should be driving the LED and changing the LED's brightness. So, given all those voltages, if all those are okay then it's difficult to understand what the problem is. If we've only got a very low voltage across here, it's probably going to be this chip, this transistor, especially if we go from naught volts to there and we've got the 19 volt output. Hope that helps. Anybody who's got this problem with this circuit and will enable you to find the fault. Bye now. Bye.